Alex. What do you think you were really doing in Panama? I was drinking. People die. Innocent people. Who do you think robbed you? I don't know. I was told it was people who disliked Daphne Bernstein. Something about an unpleasant divorce. Her ex-husband worked on Wall Street. Do you think he has easy access to Panamanian death squads? Guess I didn't really think about it. You were smuggling something, weren't you? No, no, no. I mean, I didn't realize it at the time. I, I didn't think too much about it, but yes. Marcelo did drive off with something. I don't know what. I didn't see him until we got to Brazil a week or so later. I think it was money. I think Marcelo and Victor have a friendly banker there in Panama. Your little cruise was to deliver the cash to him because there it's easier to loan them. But I thought the Broncos were rich. Rodrigo's rich. The other two, they live well, but they don't have real money. Victor's campaigns were always financed by his brother. That is the way among certain rich families there. The eldest brother is the king. You know, he gets everything. The other two, not so much. And now Rodrigo's dead. Exactly. And Marcelo, too. It's an awful tragedy for Victor, huh? A man running on a law and order ticket, you know, whose brothers have both been killed in such terrible circumstances. A true patriot. What about Marcelo? Marcelo. Marcelo was an idiot. For this true, I certainly don't believe he could possibly have known about it. But I do believe some other scheme, you know, some other bullshit. Whatever that cash was, Victor could have talked him into something. I don't know yet. And Passos? Well, Passos is a bum ex-cop. Failed in America, failed in Sao Paulo. He was surrounded by more money and more poverty than his tiny little head can handle. You think guys like that can't be bought? No, but if... But nothing. Probably not a bad guy. He's just a man caught in the crossfire of a very rich family. What about me? You. You're the fall guy. The American. Running around, acting like the action hero. Killing lots of people. <laughs> You're a stroke of genius. That ain't how it is. You were an angry ex-cop. You were sitting in a bar with a history of violence and a history of a bad temper. You were perfect. Me and Passos went to the academy together. Did you? I don't fucking know. <clears throat> okay, let's take a drive, Max. You wanna do some good, hmm? You wanna get yourself killed in a good cause? Then I need you to check something out for me. Like what? That incident at the favela today. Some of my officers say a bus drove off some captives. They did, I saw it. But no captives were ever booked. They probably handed them off to the paramilitary death squads, the, uh... Casa Preto? Right. Who did? I don't know, the cops. The other cops, the cops who shoot on sight. The Ufe. Right. Max, you see that building there? The Imperial Palace Hotel? Yeah, that's what it says. People go in there, in large groups, under armed guard. But it isn't a police station, and no one comes out of there. Why don't you just go in and bust the joint, get a warrant? I'm only a cop, Max. <laughs> so you keep saying. <clears throat> Time to find out what was going on here. I didn't fancy booking myself in the presidential suite, so went looking for the basement. I wasn't too excited about the acoustics in this place. A couple of gunshots would sound like I'd walked in here with a goddamn marching band. It wasn't pretty, but I guess none of what was about to happen was gonna be. It was the question I kept on asking myself. How could I have been so blind? I was convinced the Broncos had gotten the wrong man for the job, but maybe De Silva was right. I was the stooge. The bad joke everybody got but me. Hey, 
Either those guys wheeled their trash out on stretchers, or something was seriously wrong here. Ufe. Was there anything they didn't have a grubby hand in? A few days earlier I'd have called it a coincidence, but I'd written off too many of those already. This hotel was a five-star bona fide shithole. I needed to find out why guests were checking in by the busload and checking out by the bag load. Maybe the service would be better upstairs. Você não tá fazendo nada, tô fazendo tudo sozinho. Gente. Como é que eu não tô pegando nada, rapaz? Tô trabalhando aqui, ficando de olho e ou, escutando você reclamar. Ó, 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 ó. Olha o quê? Para com essa viadagem, para de reclamar, de saco cheio. Porra, põe as... Ah! Eu, 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 eu.
De Silva and I had the same fan club. I knew enough and he knew too much. We'd both become targets. Passos's ID card. It was no great surprise he'd made their hit list, but to discover he was really Colombian? No wonder some locals seemed to laugh at his accent. What else had he lied to me about? If I'd thought about this too much, I'd never get through it. I needed to find a way upstairs. Surely nobody would notice another hole in the wall. I knew this thing was bigger than me, bigger than the Broncos, but I only had a glimpse of the whole picture, like looking in the mirror and for an instant seeing what everyone else sees, a bad caricature of a better man. Ufe. That deal at the favela was getting dirtier by the minute. Those bastards were clearly in bed with the crush of Prado. Now we just had to find out why. Starting with a bit of bedtime reading for Mr. Da Silva. When you've lived the kind of life I've lived, reality comes at you through a different lens. But nothing could have prepared me for what was on the other side of that door. I had to get those poor bastards out of there. Get him out of here. Go. Go. Wait. I said get. Serrano. Serrano. He looked pathetic. A man defeated. I walked away and left him to his own personal nightmare. Whatever hell this was De Silva had sent me into, I knew I had to put an end to it. I had no choice but to push on. I didn't understand everything, and I never would, but I understood enough. Sometimes a complicated problem is best tackled with a simple solution.
This was hell on earth. De Silva was no fool. I'd have driven on off into the sunset too if I were him. But I was in too far now. It looked like Victor had won the sympathy vote, found his universal connection to the people, triumph out of tragedy. Part of me couldn't help thinking that had been his plan all along. What the fuck is going on here? How, how much do you want? What have you been doing? I am a doctor. I help people. What have you been doing here? It's easy for you. Listen, I know people. They will kill you. I can help you. Trust me. Please, please. What have you been doing? I have a lot of money. Look, look. Lots of money. I do important research, please. Caralho! Caralho! Espera, espera. Eu posso explicar tudo. Tudinho! Não, não. Por favor. Pelo amor de Deus. Por favor, não me mata. Não, não. Pelo amor de Deus! E ali, doutor! For all Serrano owed me, he'd paid enough. For now, I had bigger debts to call in. Even I could guess what Demolisal meant. That building was condemned in more ways than one. It was locked from the outside. They had a fucking arsenal in here. It was time to bring this little hellhole to the ground, so I decided to put some of their C4 to good use. see something, but you can dull the effect. Either Victor Bronco and Nevis were doing a lot of charity work together, or this was payment for something else. Were the crush of Prado in Victor's pocket? Had he tipped them off about the stadium exchange? I had to hurry up before more of those assholes showed up. seen some dark shit in my time, but this was something else. These vermin had gone into a place where life was cheap and found a way to get rich off it. I just wanted to finish this and get far away from here. But then, true to form, more of the rats came out of their holes.
At least my visitors have been kind enough to leave the gate open. I bought had been going real cheap. If I was gonna plant the rest of those explosives, I had to do it now. That was the last of the explosives. I just hoped it was enough to bring down the building. And all the evil in it. Vai, vai, rápido, rápido, vai! Who wants to take a shot? You see what this is? Come on, anybody? Want to be a hero? I got nothing to lose, let's do it! Que porra que tá acontecendo aqui? Senor Neves. What the fuck is your problem, man? <laughs> my problem? My problem? Wanna know what my problem is? You're turning humans into glue! That's what my fucking problem is! I don't know what you're talking about, American. All I know is what I hear about you. You bodyguard for the Brancos. They are all dead. You help the poor. Today, many of them dead. You are a proper American hero. At least I fucking tried. Well done with your effort. The whole city is grateful. The great American savior of the poor. That's right. You think you made any difference? You think stopping this legitimate business venture is helping anyone? Legitimate? You're stealing people's organs! We pay for everything! We have the records! Oh, so people can sell their livers? Their hearts? Their eyeballs? You're insane, you sick fuck! We kept people safe in the city! Decent people! Safe! I know a lot of powerful people. Well, your powerful people aren't gonna help you out of this one, buddy.
was dangerous, friend. Yeah, I kind of like it. It's growing on me. <laughs> nice to see your happy tourist smiling. <laughs> the fuck are you doing here? I came back. I can see that. But why? To save you. Oh, yeah, real hero. Listen, Listen. now come with me, Max, to Brazil. Give me a chance to play the fall guy in a plot that my boss and his brother's hatching to profit from the selling of human organs. Yeah, it'll be perfect for you. What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about human organs, man. Victor and Marcelo are trying to teach Rodrigo a lesson. Get him to loosen the purse strings and the family money. They pressured me into doing it. You wanna die? I came back for you. I did my best. I'm having a kid, Max. I gotta go. Fuck you. Sure. Later. Now, let's go. Hope this thing works.